What is up my crazy subscribers, this is Joe King John City 4 and today I'll be talking about the gameplay in the background. So the map that I'm playing on is called Das House or Das House. I don't know how to say it but all you gotta know is that it's the smallest map in the game. You can kind of compare it to Nuketown. This is the Nuketown of Call of Duty Vanguard. So uh, it's chaotic, it's crazy, you know people are gonna spawn right next to you. It's that freaking hilarious. Like I don't take this map serious at all. I just play for fun, like I'm just missing around and that's how I got this amount of kills in this gameplay. I managed to get 90 kills with 26 deaths. I'm like what the hell, I haven't achieved that like in 2 years since like Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare. So um, just getting this in this game, I'm like right away like in the first 2 weeks, I'm like holy shit, you know it's crazy. Because uh, I know people are doing this with shotguns, you know, people have been abusing shotguns like crazy lately in this map. But I like to keep my distance and make sure the shotgun users don't get in my face. You know, so I changed out to an LMG and it's helping me out a lot. I I learned this by just messing around with an LMG and it's, I'm just shutting down lanes, I'm just mowing down people. Because all I'm just doing is just spraying and you have 150 bullets to make it happen. So um, I suggest to test out the MG42 right now. Like it's it's good right now it's good it's, it needs a little bit of a buff because you'll notice it takes like around like around 15 bullets or 10 bullets to kill an enemy, but uh, you know what they're gonna do they're gonna be like flinching like crazy every time you hit them so their aim is gonna be like way off so uh, test it out guys and with the combination of perks and the attachments that I have I mean it just helps it out a lot I have the incendiary bullets on I have all the attachments that increase the range the damage so. Uh, all you gotta do is just spray because that damage is gonna be constant it's gonna be directly uh, another big thing that helped me out is the perk uh, piercing vision piercing vision is literally wall hacks I don't know why the hell they added wall hacks into this game but every time you pre-fire over a corner if a person is about to get close you know because of the suppression um, they are gonna be detected and you're gonna be able to see the enemy outline pretty easily through the walls and I'm like how is this a thing in World War 2 it does not make any sense but I guess I'll abuse it myself so you'll see a bunch of those moments here in this gameplay where I'm just like okay so he's coming from this corner I'm just gonna aim towards the head so I can get an easier kill because it does take a while like I said it does take a while to kill someone with an LMG but just spray all you gotta do is just spray because their aim is gonna be way off when you start spraying and they're suppressed and everything it's just gonna be a um, an easy kill every time so um so anyways that's how i achieved 90 kills there's several other gameplays where i achieved 50 plus and everything and it was just fun as hell so uh, like i said i don't take this map serious i just like to mess around with it and i just like to see how the enemies just spaz out every time you go every time you like spray down a whole hallway so it's hilarious to see um so anyways what else should i talk about i think you guys should check out my funny lobby moments video that i posted a few days ago uh, it's hilarious. It's probably the first time I ever uploaded a complete video since like Modern Warfare, but I only did like two episodes on that one. But uh, it's been a longest running series since like Modern Warfare 3, so it's like 10 years already. So uh, it's hilarious. I think that was my best episode ever that I've done in a while. So uh, go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. And also uh, make sure you subscribe for more because I'll be talking more about Call of Duty Vanguard in the future. So that is it, guys. I wanted to talk about today just a little bit of gameplay here and there and enjoy the rest of it, you know, because it's just hilarious how i'm just like mowing down people through like a single hallway and also i managed to call in the flame nut a few times and also my dogs the flame nut is not that bad but the problem is it can actually be destroyed within a single knife kill like if they knife you that's it the, the your uh, you explode with a flame nut like it's so ridiculous bro I, don't, I think it should be like around three knives or two knives to kill you when you use the flame nut i don't know why is that even a thing where they just because i've gotten killed uh by uh by a bayonet somebody just like rushed towards me and just bayoneted me and i just exploded i'm like how is that one kill how is that one shot so that's kind of a little bit of too much like it's just unbelievable because you have all these pads and yet you cannot protect yourself from a knife it's just a little bit too much and i'm not sure if i did get killed by a knife in this match but um i think it was in a different one i'm not sure but but yeah the flame nut it needs a little bit of a buff, of a buff on that category you know get me knifed like three times and then i'll explode or twice and i would understand <laughs> but once it's just it's too ridiculous so anyways that's all i wanted to talk about today guys hopefully you guys enjoy oh before i leave again <laughs> um the decoy tactical throw the one that i have right now on the screen that one's kind of important due to the fact that sweaties out there are just like listening through your footsteps like to your footsteps under headphones and 
you know they're like trying to see where the footsteps are coming from if you throw a bunch of decoys they'll start going to that direction because they think that there's somebody over there and that's how i threw off so many enemies out of their way from reaching from one point to the other you'll see me spam the crap out of them with decoy grenades and it's so hilarious because they'll be like where's this where are these walking footsteps are coming from but they don't even know it's so hilarious to watch them to kind of like spaz out about it so um so anyways yeah that's all i wanted to talk about today guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh, i'll be posting up more stuff for call of Duty vanguard in the near future so make sure you subscribe for more leave a like and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out